Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Flying in Space with Planet Head. Uh, today I am going to jump right into it. I am in space. I have bought a wolf. Uh, if you watched my video yesterday, it's my first um, assault frigate. Um, I fit it out very basically. I'll go after the fits. I'll show you the fit here in a little while. It's not a great fit. It's basically something to get me up and started and fly around and trying to ship out a little bit. Um, but I wanted to make this video. I've literally thrown, flown through probably about 40 different asteroid belts in the last half hour trying to find a clone soldier to show you what you can do to take out clone soldiers. Now this is a uh, point three system clone soldier that I found and hopefully it's still at the asteroid belt that I found. But um, I wanna go do that and tell you how I do it because I was just talking to a guy, a uh, fellow last night um, about how I do the clone soldiers with destroyers. He was having a problem with closing the range and putting enough damage onto the ship. Um, so what I thought I would do is show a couple of things that I do with a regular ship, not with a wolf, but then maybe show you what you can do with the wolf to maybe close that range. Now this is a point three. My ultimate goal is to try to take out maybe point twos and point one clone soldiers with the uh, wolf, which I haven't been able to do too well with destroyers. So, um... I'm going to actually fly in, hopefully, at this clone soldier a couple of times to show you how I try to do it. So let's hopefully he's still at the same asteroid belt. Um, I think it was this one here. So I'm just going to warp in at it at about 10. Well, I'll first warp in at it at zero. If he's still there, it should put me about 20 kilometers, 20 to 25 kilometers straight off of him. The whole goal with um, clone soldiers, I think I did a video with this a while back. Um, yep, he's still there. Is to close range as quickly as fa possible with a fast ship. Now he's only 20 kilometers away. And I'm going to get in close. I'm going to hit my afterburner. Now I do have my assault damage here, uh, damage control. I'm not going to use this on this pass. I just want to show you what will normally happen. Now notice he's not firing at me yet. It will take a little bit for him to start aiming, but they do pack a punch, but I've actually been able to close that range super quick. I'm not going to fire on him. I want to actually use him as an example. So notice I'm right within um, 1,500 kilometers. I'm going at about 800, 700 to 800 meters per second. Um, and he's missing me, this clone uh, recruiter. He's missing me. Um, so that's the best tank you can have, is if somebody can't hit you, then nothing can happen, in my book. Um, it go, For me, it goes uh, speed tank first, and then everything else second. So, um, I can, look at this, no hands. I can just circle him and circle him, and no big issues there. Now, an issue with it is a lot of times you don't warp in at 20 kilometers. Sometimes you warp in at 40 kilometers, and while you're trying to approach him, they can start pounding you. Um, this is where your transversal comes in, where you don't want to approach directly at them. I can do another video later on. I think I did a bad one with some bad paint um, a while back. You can look that up. But uh, you literally don't want to come directly at a ship if you come at it at an angle, um, you're still closing the range, but they're not able to get straight on shots at you, and it's much better to do that till you get to that orbit area. But sometimes that's not even enough. Sometimes, especially with a destroyer that might be a slower ship, they and that can't take as much damage, um, they can uh, whittle you down to the point where... Um, you uh, can't get in close to be able to get those get this transversal going. Or maybe your ship is so big that it's taking too much damage. So I haven't hit him here yet. I'm going to warp off. I'm going to warp back in at, um, let's say, 30 kilometers off. So it should hopefully... Oops, I don't want to dock. I didn't mean to dock. I'll, I'll stop it while I'm doing there. 
but I'll show you a trick, hopefully. Now, I won't be hit too bad by this guy. Hopefully, he'll still be at this asteroid belt. Okay, that's control space to stop. Just spam that once we uh, go ahead and land here so I don't dock. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to warp back. Hopefully, he's still there so we don't have to go and find him. Should be, I think it was it this one here? I think it's this one. I'm going to warp in at 20 kilometers off the spot that I normally load at. So either I'm going to land right on top of him or I should land about 30, 40 kilometers away. Um, and this is really used for guys, if you're alpha characters and you've just started a game, you can still get in close and kill these guys, but you have to be a little bit more tactical. So I'm at 30, 35 kilometers. I'm going to show you how much he hits me for here. So I'm going to close that range, but I'm not going to hit my afterburner. I want to see. I want to show you that he can hit my damage. So I'm closing that range, and I'm literally going straight at him right now. See, he's going to hit me hard. But I can take it because I'm a wolf. And we're shield tanked. Here it comes. So here comes a blast. 58. Now notice if I turn to the right here, 110, if I go off to the side on him, the damage goes down. This is where your transversal comes in. Okay? Now here's going to be the third trick. I'm going to warp off. And let's go to... I might as well go to my safe spot. There we go. The third one I'm going to do is, let's say you can't... Now, obviously, I'm pretty well tanked here. I can close that distance. It's not an issue. But a lot of times, as an alpha, you don't have the skills or you don't have the equipment. Or maybe you're flying a destroyer and you're going for that max damage, but you don't have the tank to take the damage. Um, this is one of those where... Uh, and you're warping in on them for about um, about 50 or 60 kilometers. So they're really hitting you hard. So let's do this one more time. We're going to go Asteroid Belt. I'm really glad nobody's shown up in system yet. I'm going to warp off at about 50 kilometers out. This is a little trick I've learned. And it's a little bit of work um, to do this, but it taught me a lot. Um, especially when I was lower skills. I don't need to do this anymore, but I might have to do it in other situations. And this is where I create a save spot as I'm closing my range. Okay, so I'm at 57 kilometers. I'm going to start to close the range here. I'm going to put myself at 8,000 meters. Hit my that there. And now I'm going to pull up my control, I'm going to hit control B for a safe spot. I'm going to wait for him to target and start hitting me. And I set it to two days, or I could even do three hours if I want to for it to go away. Now I submit it, and I warp to my safe spot. Okay. Notice he's hitting me. So let's say I'm getting some damage here. Maybe I'm in a destroyer, and he's pinging down into my damage there. I haven't been able to get close enough to really do any damage to him. Um, I haven't been able to get into that transversal circle. But what I can do is warp out, then warp back to the save spot, warp to zero, He's going to take a little while to target me, so I can close that range. I think I was at about 30 kilometers out from him. Now when I warp back in, I'll be a shorter distance, and I can actually get into that transversal space if I had a destroyer or something along those lines. Um, here we go. So I'm at 30, 28 kilometers versus 50. Now I'm going to go ahead and close that down. Boop, boop, boop. Should be able to get in range pretty quickly, even if he hits us. Not going to worry about it too much, and I can target him. I'm still not going to hit him. Notice I got within that range there. That's 
That's pretty good. Gonna start circling him. He might ping me once. I've been pinged every once in a while when I'm doing this with a destroyer. Um, I'm really liking this new assault frigate. I still have a lot of work to do on fitting it out. I'm breaking a lot of rules that I'll talk about here in a little bit when I show you the fit that I have for him. A lot of growth that I can do with it. But I want to show one more thing on the difference between an assault frigate and having a destroyer. And what I what I've initially noticed, and that is with this right here, the assault damage control. Um, and that is that it's like a regular damage control, but it gives you an instant big burst of protection, which um, if you remember earlier, whenever I was trying to close in, um, if I was coming straight at him, he would hit me hard. But if I can upgrade my resistance onto him, by a ton for a short burst, I can take that damage and get within underneath his firing. So we're going to try this one more time, and then I'm going to try to kill him, which I should be able to do. Um, so let's go ahead and warp back out to my save spot. Hopefully he doesn't move for this last try, and everything works out great. I'm really kind of amazed that he stayed here nice and friendly waiting for me to do this so many times. <laughs> He's been very, very helpful. And then I'll go and blow him up. I'll show you what you get from him. And then I'll go ahead and dock and show you that. Now this is... Okay, so there we go. And now I'm going to warp into... Actually, might as well just warp to my save spot there. And... Well, we'll go ahead and warp to the asteroid belt again. Number one... I'm going to warp out about 30 kilometers. I want to test out this right here, the uh, assault damage control. Now, I upgraded it. I, I killed the guy out here earlier and upgraded it to uh, one of the uh, meta level ones. It's a little bit better than your normal regular assault damage. Okay. So I'm going to fly straight at him. He's 30, 28 kilometers away. There we go. Hit that right there. I'm going to wait for that first hit that he hits me for. Now, I am flying almost directly at him, so I'm expecting that first hit to hurt. There we go. Unless he... Come on, target me, buddy. Okay, he's already missing me. we got to warp out farther. <laughs> um... So let's get back out to our save spot here. I I could just kill him right now, but I wanted to show you hopefully the difference between the assault um, damage control and a regular damage control. So I'll warp back out. Maybe I'll try to warp in at like 40 kilometers. I guess I don't have to have the asteroid, the afterburner on. I could do that. Um, yeah, I could do that. So we'll go ahead and now we'll try one more time. Asteroid belts. And warp to zero. Oh, shoot. Stop my ship. Okay, asteroid belt. Warp to... We're going to go 30 kilometers out. This time I won't put on the afterburner until I have to close that range. So I want to show you the damage that I'm going to be taking from him. Um, and see if this actually... Uh, helps out more. So now it is a very short burst. It does not last very long. Um, okay, so we're at oh, 22 kilometers. Let's wait for a minute. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's get moving. Now that feels good. Actually, I'm going to pop this down to 500. Now we'll wait for that first hit. Come on, buddy. Can't believe I'm waiting for this guy to shoot me. Shoot me! Okay, there's the first one, 85. Now let's try the assault damage control. Miss me completely. 18, look at that. Look at that big difference there, 18. Now it just ran out. It's going to take a long time for it to... I think it takes like 150 seconds. But it can get me in under... 
like take that damage for a second, like boom, boom, and then I can jab, and now I'm going to jab him to death. So let's go ahead and get my guns a blasting. Uh, there we go. And might as well just throw some. I have the four guns on this. I did not put missiles into the fifth slot because I'm not skilled in missiles. Um, again, no hands. <laughs> um, just letting this speed tank do its work. Um, but uh, long story short, um, I could throw in a little bit more damage in there, but I'm not very skilled in missiles. And I'm not really wanting to spend my skill points on that just yet. Down the road, I will. So just as for giggles, I threw in a uh, energy Nosferatu. Um, if you guys have any ideas of something else that would be good to throw in there, I haven't checked the kill board a whole lot. Um, once I get done doing this, I'll go ahead and dock up and I'll show you guys uh, the fit that I came up with. It was a very basic fit. I've actually picked up a few pieces of equipment along the way, getting back here and I killed a couple things. I upgraded my, um, uh, my damage control from regular damage control. I threw in a little bit better, um, well, I threw in a compact afterburner uh, so that I could get the uh, the Nosferatu. Notice both of those are compact. They're not regular, so I can barely fit those onto the ship. I had some basic ones on there, and I wasn't able to hit, fit the Nosferatu on there before because of my skills and the setup and stuff like that. So this is literally just a really quick first pass on a fit, and I'll show you the rest of it once we get done here, um, that uh, I pulled, I went into Z kill board, looked at a couple fits there, and uh, general rule of thumb, I think, is if you're going to fly a Tech 2 ship, you should have Tech 2 or better equipment on it. You shouldn't be using basic equipment. Um, if you're, especially if you're doing PvP. Now, if you're learning like I am, um, I'm going to work my way up, um, but I do have basic guns on this. I don't have any special guns. That's why I'm not doing as much damage as I could. I'm really hindering myself with that right now because of, remember the damage bonuses that came with it from the video yesterday? So definitely a lot of room to grow, but as you can tell, I am pinging Mr. Uh, clone Soldier down here. It'll be interesting in a week or two, once I've outfitted a little bit better, um, how much faster this goes. What this tells me right here, though, is it's taking me a while to kill him, even though I'll be able to. Um, I'm not ready to take on the point two system um, clone soldiers. Um, I'm close. I think I could do some more fitting out and get that going. But right now, I'm not ready to with the fit that I currently have. Um, and that's where you really start making your ISK. One thing that you have to be careful with that is, as you notice, I'm within, I'm up close and personal here with this guy. Um, if you're within 10 kilometers, I read, um, of the, uh, clo the point two clone soldiers, um, they will webify you. I've, I've run into that, and that's what stopped me from being able to take them out with the destroyers. They were doing too much damage to me. So, um, really, some interesting stuff. He's almost gone here. There we go. Okay. So, to show you what you can get from him, yeah, I got my skill, my 1500 skill points. There we go. So... This is your clone soldier tag. It's a recruiter tag. Now, the ones in the point twos and the point ones are worth a lot more. Um, but this one is worth, it's all about how much you can sell it to somebody for, but it's worth 5 million isks for killing one guy. That's why this is, I like doing this because it lets me test out fits. Um, I guess I could throw a salvager on this if I wanted to. Um, I can test out different things on the clone soldiers and how they work. Um, because it takes some damage, and I can try a couple different things out, as you saw. Um, but you have to be a little bit careful with them. So let's go ahead and go dock up so I don't have to worry about anything. And then I'll show you the, the junk. This is, I would have to call this a junk fit. Uh, like I said, I basically bought the wolf. 
Uh, I do plan on buying, I think it's the Retribution. Um, that is the Amar version that I taught, that I showed you yesterday. I'm going to have both of them and maybe try them out different ways, see how it works out here against the clone soldiers. Um, there we go. Hello. Thank you. Okay. So let's take a look at this really bad fit. First off, you'll see, I don't think I have anything as Tech 2 on this yet. So a lot of room growth there. Um, even most of it is in meta level 2. Um, if you notice here, my guns are all 200 millimeter auto cannons. So nothing super special there. I can definitely go up to a meta 4 or Tech 2 on that. I've got regular ammo on these. Uh, EMP EM, well, they work well against the uh, Blood Raider clone soldiers because they're susceptible to EM. Um, a tier one um, afterburner. Now, I did throw on, I remember I talked about yesterday, it looked like the Wolf was your shield tank, even though it's only got one slot, whereas your um, your uh, Retribution was your armor tank. On the opposite end, what I would have to say is the wolf itself, you almost always want to go with a prop mod. So if this was going to be a PvP ship, then um, I probably would have to try to armor tank it versus shield tank this. I would want to have that warp disruptor to lock somebody down. So th this is purely a PvE ship, not a PvP. So I've thrown the shield on there so I can put some gyro stablers on here to do more damage. Now, filling out the rest here, I, I wanted to try out the assault damage control, so I threw one of those on there. I started to run out of cap space here, and I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do with either one of these spots. I put the inertial stabilizers on there just so I can maneuver a little bit faster, and I put the overdrive system on here so I could go even faster. Um, this would be if, that I could turn faster. This could be that I could go faster. Definitely, it can change those out. I can check some kills on Z killboard, see what's out there. And then over here, just so they don't stack, I have the collision accelerator that increases the damage of my projectile weapons and the burst aerator that increases my um, my gun speed. The ship does do 163 DPS. Let's go check it out versus my salvage fit thrasher. Didn't even think about that. I'm only one jump away. We'll check out the DPS versus a seven gun. I think the Thrasher has seven guns on it. So let's, I should be over in Malma there. I don't think the, I think this ship actually does with its um, four guns does very similar damage right now with the skills that I have to the uh, multiple I think there's like seven guns on the Thrasher, um, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe half the guns. Well, I'm betting that uh, Brutus is worried there. Don't worry about it, buddy. I'm good. There we go. So let's go ahead and dock up here. Might as well reload my ammo. The only other negative that I found with this is, while this might be a very good ship for trying to kill off the clone soldiers, it's not a good ship for me to rat in because the cargo bay is so small. So those battleships and the battle cruisers that I like to kill to get stuff to melt down, I don't have much cargo space to actually carry that stuff home to melt down. So literally, I'm going to be using this for mostly clone soldiers, and learning some other things like that. Maybe doing some speed runs on some sites. I haven't tried that yet, so that might be an option. I have no idea. But I'll go ahead and dock up here. I'll show you the difference, um, just in general, the DPS difference between this and my Thrasher. Now, my Thrasher is a, a junk Thrasher fit, too, that I've just picked up items out here or built them. I haven't put a whole lot into the thought of it. Um, 
let's go ahead and see here. Where are you, Mr. Thrasher? Make active. Now, the, uh, the wolf was 163 DPS. Um, I'm thinking this is probably just a little bit more, but not a whole lot. 192. So a little bit about 29 more DPS, but it's got three more guns. So that's so it's basically the wolf with its bonuses. Um, it's got a little bit more tank, and I think if I I still have one more level of assault frigate that I can go up, which will give me more damage. And if I increase my um, now this these are 250 millimeter artillery cannons they aren't your close range like i'm doing so um yeah a lot of growth there for me very similar settings down here i've got the two gyro stabilizers and the two um air raider and the collision so these are very similar but that's that so um I'll keep this video short i just want to jump in and show you guys that that is the first fit of the um uh the wolf um, I'm sure there will be many incarnations down the road, both both for PvE, uh, PvP, and maybe a little bit of scouting and messing around that way. Um, but I had a lot of fun with it. I'll start. I'll be messing with this the next week or two, also with the retribution, and then I'll probably be trying some other stuff out. But I'll let you guys know if any updates come. I've got some other information that I've come across on some other things and some hints that some guys sent me in the comments. Um, one really good hint about um, grabbing uh, targeting drones versus where you don't have to worry so much about your overview. Um, so I'll, I'll throw that in there in the next video if I remember. But that's all I got. Um, I'm going to go and uh, blow some more stuff up. <laughs> um, hey, fly safely, dangerously fly out like you want. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great night. Bye-bye.